I wanted to shoot a video where I show you how to get ready for extreme winter clothes because <laughs> there's a technique to this. Uh, to save time, I obviously have my base layers on. I have my base layer pants, my top, I went ahead and put my beanie on, and then I do have my wool socks on. Now, you will notice my socks, I pull them up as high as they will go. The key to dressing for extreme winter is layer. Layer on top of layer on top of layer. So these are over my leggings. Now my top is a little bit longer. You do want that. That way if you are bending over or anything like that, your back's not going to be exposed in any way. So we're going to mostly layer this midsection, which is a good part of our core. So we're going to start with our mid, uh, mid layer pants. These are some fleece joggers. So we're going to put them on and we are going to make sure our base layer top is tucked in. And then I am going to go ahead and put my gaiter on. Now, ladies, if you have medium to long hair, you are going to want to braid it. You don't want it to be loose because you will never, ever get the tangles out. Even with my hair braided, I don't know if you can see, it's already kind of tangled from where I had these clothes on earlier today. But when you put your gaiter on, you want to put it on before you put your next top on and you want to put it on covering your braid or covering your hair just to hold it down. Otherwise you're going to be fighting with your hair flying in your face all the time and getting tangled. Now I have my mid layer top, which is just a police sweatshirt. <laughs> my beanie fell down. Okay, so I put that on. It is going to go over the pants. Now this one does have a hoodie. If I wanted to, I would go ahead and put this up if it was extra cold. Uh, but since it's not extra cold, uh, I would just have this down. Now remember we're layering, so think pants top pants top. That's how you put this on. So next I'm going to put on my snowboarding pants and those on and again tuck the shirt in which is not always easy. You end up looking like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man by the time you're done with all these clothes. <laughs> And moving around, like getting in and out of cars, is not easy with all of this on. So, make sure that's tucked in. So everything in this area is layer upon layer upon layer. Instead of, not really layered, but there's some gaps to where the air can get in. Then, I usually put my boots on next. I'm only going to put one boot on just to save time, but you can find hand warmers. They're, they do have toe warmers, but you can use hand warmers too. Uh, if you do not have easy on boots, which these are not, these tie and everything, what I do is I kind of put the hand warmer on the top of my toes and try to put them into my boot to where once they're in my boot, they're sitting on top of my toes. I don't want to put them under my toes because it's going to mess with how I walk. But you notice I pulled down my sweatpants but pulled up the snowboard pants. 
put my boot in. I tie it. <clears throat> and then I take the snowboard pants. Most snowboard pants are going to have the outside layer and then this inside layer. Um, the inside layer is got a very, very thick elastic. You can take it and pull it over the boot. So this is the inside layer. And then you take the outside layer and drop it down. That will kind of create a seal around your boot to where when you are in snow really high, none of it is going to get to your sweatpants, your socks, nothing, which is great. But that is your boots. Then you take your parka and you want a long parka to where it covers even more layers. If I had a short coat, if I go to bend over, my back's going to show. Put that on. I'm not going to snap all the buttons, but you could snap the buttons. You have your hood. I can cover that up. I haven't yet on this trip. And then I would just keep my gloves, put the glove liners, then put your gloves or your mittens on. Um, it takes a while to get used to this process and it takes a while to put all of these clothes on. So if you need to get dressed for something, don't wait, just go ahead and do it in a hurry. Uh, when you get back to where you're staying, a lot of places want you to leave your boots or shoes at the door so you're not tracking snow all inside of where you're staying. What I have done is I take them off at the door and I do kind of beat them on the ground to get all the snow off and then I carry them to my room so I have them at the room. Otherwise, the entrance is a lot of times really cold and then you'll end up having to put on cold boots or cold shoes when you go to leave. So many layers. And to take them off, you just do the reverse of what you just did. And it takes a while. But this ensures that you are nice and toasty. And that you're not getting wet. And what I recommend is when you get back to where you are staying, take off your mid and outer layers. Uh, these socks, you can take them, hold them down, just so you can keep your feet warm. I am going to keep my beanie on just so I have my head warm, but I'm going to take the gator off because gators really add warmth and I'm not going to want to burn up. But that is how you put on and take off clothes for extreme winter wear. Uh, if you have any questions or if you live in an area that does deal with a lot of extreme winter wear and you have any suggestions, I very much welcome those because I kind of had to learn this on my own and by doing research, but if you have any suggestions or any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see everyone in the next video. Bye!